everyone in today's session let us discuss about the synthesis of nanomaterials by chemical vapor deposition method or chemical vapor deposition process that is from chapter 2 uh, of uh, module 5 so this is a real time image of a cvd synthesis unit let us see how the process takes place in the last class we have seen the synthesis of nanomaterial by sol gel process by bottom up approach this is also one of the bottom up approach where we prepare atoms and atoms gets uh, assembled or aggregated to become a cluster and clusters to yield nanoparticles so outcome of this discussion could be viewed as follows after the discussion you would be able to understand the concept of cvd that is chemical vapor deposition explain the different steps involved in the process draw or write a schematic uh, representation or a diagram of the process list the advantages of the method now before uh, going for the explanation by theory i would uh, uh, like to take a uh, aid of a diagram and explain the process uh, so that uh, the concept would be little more easy to uh, grasp so once we will see the diagram that is a schematic diagram after looking into the diagram and explanation let us come back and state these sentences uh, to make it as an answer so here let us see the first point uh, that you can understand directly cvd method is a method where metallo organic compounds are used as precursors so precursor term is now familiar from sol gel process any starting material which is used for the synthesis we call as precursor and here which precursor is used is metallo organic kind sol gel we used metal alkoxide here we are using metallo organic that is there is a metal and a organic group present and uh, we must have a carrier gas that is uh, usually an inert gas uh, preferably noble gas like organ could be used so a carrier gas we are making to pass through a precursor and the process is going to be started so two important um, requirement is having a precursor of metal organic kind and a carrier gas to start the process now let us see how the cvd method could be visualized okay this is just a schematic representation to understand the concept so imagine here is a carrier gas which we are sending then the uh, wherever these kind of uh, uh, the representation are there they are nothing but needle walls needle walls are used to have a control over the flow so concentration we can control or rate of flow we can control with this needle wall a carrier gas is sent um, through the uh, uh, connections and here here we can see there is a reservoir for precursor maintenance which nanomaterial we want to synthesize that precursor is taken in this particular reservoir and see here again we have a control over the uh, flow using a needle valve now how the process is on uh, we have to start from a carrier gas carrier gas is bubbled through the precursor now this carrier gas will take up the precursors and always precursors are maintained in a vapor phase these are present in vapor phase and using the needle wall at a controlled rate carrier gas carries the vapors of the precursors here again you have two options see here the precursor may be one moiety you can take and continue likewise if you want doping you can take two precursors coating is required then also we can go for two precursors okay so this is a uh, one uh, very salient feature of cvd method where we can prepare doped nanoparticles and coated nanoparticles because precursors we can take in a different way now the carrier gas when uh, comes here uh, here this particular area we have a furnace okay this particular area we have a furnace and whatever the shaded part shown here says that uh, this is the hot zone of the furnace that is maintained at very high temperature now the precursor so coming and entering to the furnace 
would undergo chemical reaction here okay that is actually vapors would be present they would be reacting with each other precursors and atoms of nanoparticles would be formed first and uh, as it proceeds, uh, atoms would aggregate uh, and they become little bigger masses, what you call them as clusters. And then from the cluster, you are making it to enter a um, collection chamber. This collection chamber is always evacuated. Collection chamber is connected to a vacuum pump. That means water. Uh, this collection chamber is evacuated. There is uh, no chemical or anything present inside and then the collection chamber is fitted with the, a cold finger what you call it as cold finger means uh, it is actually a substrate uh, which is maintained uh, under very low temperature that actually we use liquid nitrogen maintained temperature liquid nitrogen temperature is extreme cold conditions we maintain this finger and uh, it is always uh, it is always rotating okay this particular substrate would be rotating now what happened we had a carrier gas which came via precursor took the precursors inside and here uh, at the hot zone of the furnace atoms are formed as proceed they became clusters and these clusters would be hitting the cold finger i hope you can imagine the process this uh, scrapper uh, sorry this uh, substrate would be rotating and the clusters would be coming and hitting the substrate so this cold finger on the cold finger automatically they get uh, deposited i hope now you got the process initially we send a precursor in the vapor state they react nanoparticles are formed and we make it to deposit on the surface of a cold finger that is why the name chemical vapor deposition method now on continuous rotation of the cold finger continuously particles would be depositing then we can run a scrapper throughout the length of this particular cold finger and scrapped powder is collected at the bottom and of course it can be taken out and sent to a compacting unit where the powder could be compacted and used for the further usage so now uh, i hope i reached you the synthesis let us once state it as sentences so in the first step uh, we take metal organic compounds as precursors in one reservoir another reservoir we take carrier gas and carrier gas is bubbled through the precursor in the third step the vapor steam we are introducing into a vacuum chamber via the needle valve so needle valve to control where the reaction would happen then in the fourth step these metal organic molecules then pass through a heated tube heated tube is nothing but the hot zone of the furnace then what happens here thermal decomposition of the molecule would takes place forming nanoparticles or small particles and then in the next step the particles would condense on liquid nitrogen cooled okay this must be remembered liquid nitrogen cooled rotating substrate or cold finger from which the powder could be scrapped off so as small as possible i have given the uh, synthesis you can uh, remember the same or else looking into the diagram you can uh, frame the sentences but but it must cover all the points this is the real unit of cvd synthesis and here is one more diagram i have given this diagram because some of the textbook refer or provide this diagram for cvd synthesis of the two any one could be uh, written uh, for the examination so let us have a quick glance here just to understand or revise the concept so here we have the carrier gas here we have the vapors of the precursors which are made to enter the furnace here and the reaction happens nanoparticles are produced which would be converted into clusters and clusters are made to condense that is actually they are made to deposit on the cold finger process is deposition and this deposition actually uh, would be then uh, forming particles on the uh, surface of the cold finger and here they have shown the scrapper you see 
the mark the it will be shown like this then run the scraper throughout the length of the cold finger and particle would be collected at the bottom so any one diagram uh, the previous or this must be supplied uh, along with the explanation now let us list the advantages uh, here uh, say very striking feature is low power input then uh, low temperature range working relatively pure product uh, and it allows as i said synthesis of doped nanoparticles whenever we take chemical vapor precursors we can go for dopants so that doped nanoparticle could be obtained similarly very salient feature you can get coated nanoparticles that is actually um, you can uh, uh, make the uh, one compound to coat on the other other particle surface which is which is allowed only with the cvd process also it's been observed that by varying the temperature of the working then catalyst concentration and precursor concentration using the needle wall we can control the yield and optimize the result so these are the advantages any one or two advantages if you remember it is enough for exam point of view in the next discussion we would be seeing the synthesis of nanomaterials by precipitation method thank you